we're back. Good morning. Hey. So we have a new project that we're gonna be starting um, back on the ranch and it's not gonna be solar. We're taking a, a break and we're gonna get some stuff done with this, this guy, 55 gallon bucket. And why do we need it? So we can take showers. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a gray water uh, chamber. We're basically making a gray water septic system for our trailer today so that we can divert our shower water into it so we can actually take hot water showers out here on the ranch. I cannot wait. Me neither. It's actually going to be a hot day today, so this might be the best day to do this and get this done. Yeah, because uh, it's going to be right underneath the solar panels that we have installed, so uh, we have shade for majority of the day. So let's start digging. filled with all of these rocks. And we're gonna continue to dig out more rocks. But thankfully, everywhere else we've dug, we've hit caliche way sooner, and we haven't been able to like go further, so we got lucky with this one. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, this is a good spot to put it. Yeah, how many feet do you think we're down? Um, I mean, probably three feet. I think it's about three feet down to accommodate the 55 gallon drum. All right, well, we're gonna keep digging and we'll check in back with you guys. Good morning, friends. Today is day two of our gray water install. We got the pipe piping and fittings, pretty much all of our plumbing stuff uh, yesterday at Home Depot, which you can see right here. We're almost ready to get it installed. All we have to do is dig a semicircle around this tree right here, and then we're going to put pea gravel um, for drainage. So I want to get to that real quick and hopefully we can get this installed by the end of the day. So yesterday when we went to go get plumbing stuff, we got a new toy that's going to be very useful on the homestead. It's a caliche rock, like a rock bar. Probably not rocks, but you can see I got Yeah. Here. We're constantly dealing with giant rocks when we dig. Let's try this one. Makes our lives a little bit easier. Yeah, muscle man. Get it. Ah. Don't ah. break your back. I can't get it. <laughs> you got to do proper form. All right, we've put some water in there and I've just been ax picking around it. It's a little bit more wiggly. Oh. It's a big rock. Big. Holy moly. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, my, 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 my. Yeah, daddy. Woo. All right, do the honors. <clears throat> Into those piles we got right all right, into the pile you go. I can't lift this one here. Oh, I can! Oh, yeah. I'll show you where all the rocks go. Oh. Into this giant pile. <laughs> These are all the rocks that we've uh, been digging out of the ground. And that's just some of them. We've been using a lot of them to... Uh, create like little pathways and for erosion as well oh all right let's keep on digging <laughs> one day on three thousand more to go so while i've been digging mark's been working on hooking up the plumbing from the trailer 
So we're about to test it to see if there's any leaks. So this is what Mark hooked up right here. Got a little elbow. Uh, it's going straight out underneath the trailer. Mark turned on the water and it looks like there is no leaks. It's coming out nicely. So everything's on a perfect downhill slope. So the water flows directly into this pit right now. Um, we are going to excavate out just a little bit right here so that this can enter into the side of the barrel. And then it's going to come out the other side of the barrel at a little bit lower angle. Come out to this little tree pit here. We got a lot more digging to do. <laughs> Some. I don't know if this is going to get done today, but we'll see. So today we have leftovers on our grilled cheese. It's like five different cheeses with leftover grilled chicken and pesto and cream cheese and <laughs> oh man i can't wait to eat some of that uh, <laughs> are you both mine cool no <laughs> <laughs> uh, great okay. so good want to taste mm, really good never had a grilled cheese like this before Mm. All right, that was a much needed lunch break, and now we're ready to finish this project. Almost done recharging. <laughs> we're almost done. We've been digging a lot more. We had to dig a little further down here so it will slope further downwards that way into the tree area. It'll feed that root system directly. Yeah. I also got used that caliche bar and got way more boulders out of here, so we'll have lots more drainage gravel in the bottom of this which is we should have got a cleachy bar day one huh i know i'm surprised <laughs> i didn't think about doing that but mark's gonna go to the hardware store to get a three and a half inch hole saw because we have every inch hole saw except the three and a half of yeah. course <laughs>
final steps for getting some hot showers is hot propane. Yeah, we got our propane water heater in here. It's like an on-demand water heater. Oh, our generator just died. Ah, they just ran out of gas. Oh, wah, man. wah, wah. wah, wah, wah. So we got a drill so that this can vent out of the trailer. So I think I'm just going to go for it. Like, what do you think right about here? Or should I go higher up? Well, we have the vent. Like, as long as you can install the vent up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to matter. All right, send it. Probably nothing. Probably a, a plug, a power plug. To what? I don't know. At least I know where it's cut. I can take it apart and fix it. The biggest fear came true. So he was just talking <laughs> about it's like one of his things that he hates doing is drilling holes in trailers. There's no diagram to show you where the electrical is or where the wiring is. I mean, this trailer is from like 1969. So when I go to drill through the wall, like I'm just gambling, rolling the dice. So. I nicked a wire. I don't know if it's a live wire, but I'm gonna test it real quick. Maybe that's why the generator died. Go ahead and tape this up anyway. I can't wait for a hot shower tonight. I don't know about you. I need one. This is what our old shower used to be. It's hooked up to our little water pump that's in the tray, uh, that goes into the trailer right there. But we were just taking outdoor showers. And it wasn't that bad, actually. Um, I wouldn't want to do it in the wintertime. So as the seasons are currently changing, we want to make sure that we have hot showers inside the trailer. I can't wait. Just enjoying this wonderful sunset this evening and cooking up dinner as well. Show you guys how we do dinner on the Bizbone Ranch. Got chipotle chicken and some zucchini and then a little veggie skewer. Veggies courtesy of Mark's parents, the in-laws. Shout out to you guys. Thank you, mom and dad. We're really enjoying the veggies. Oh, dinner's almost ready. Mark's, I think, feeding the dogs. Let's go check and see the progress on the vet. I don't know what's becoming of that. All I know is the propane's going out the ceiling, so I'm taking a shower after dinner. <laughs> is where we're gonna say good night we just enjoyed our showers for the first time in the trailer and mm, 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 felt real good wouldn't you think yeah this is the cleanest i've been in weeks <laughs> <laughs> i'm ready i'm ready to get some rest now yeah tomorrow we're gonna get the solar panels done or we're gonna try it might take a, two days to finish but we'll see uh, so if you like this video consider subscribing please give us a big thumbs up and we'll check you on the next one